Hey, Pokey fans! In the last episode, we saved a Beniri. We learned that her mom's name was Joanna, and we beat the third gym leader, Fantina. We're pretty badly bruised up. It was a very, very close battle, so I'm gonna go heal up while explaining what we're gonna be doing this episode. This episode, I'm not really sure how long all this is gonna take, but we are going to explore Heart Home. We didn't do any sightseeing. We just got straight to business which is fine and what some of you might want, but this episode is going to be a little bit more exploratory. Um, and I already have like a general idea of what I want us to do. The first thing that we're going to do is we're actually going to go next door and find out what this lady wants. Hiya! Oh, you're a trainer. That means you're using Pokemon boxes. I love meeting end users. Oh, what's up? Why that astonished look? Oh, right. Sorry. There I go. Running my mouth again. My name's Bibi, not Bebe, Bibi. You know the PC Pokemon boxes? I'm the system administrator. So I think Bill was the creator and she just runs it. I know this is out of the blue, but do you want a Pokemon named Eevee? Here you go. So I do indeed have an open slot. I'm not gonna be keeping it, so there's no point in giving it a nickname. Uh, Eevee is a Pokemon that can evolve into one of, I want to say, seven types. Fire is Flareon, Electric is Jolteon, um, Blue is Vaporeon, Grass is Leafeon, Ice is Glaceon, uh, Psychic is Espeon, and there's Umbreon. I don't remember how many that is, but we're going to go next door to... Uh, Let's see, where do we want to go next? The Pokemon Fan Club. All trainers are welcome. A lady wants to interview. So yeah, um, I'm not going to be doing any of these interviews like I mentioned in probably a previous episode. I just never saw the point. And there are two people in this house. A fan club. There are two people. Let's see what the woman or the lady has to say. Welcome to the Pokemon Fan Club. Oh, you're Sharpie. It's warming up to you. That's my impression. Okay, so she's gonna kind of imply the friendship status of your Pokemon. So how's Batman doing? It's very friendly toward you. I can tell you treat it kindly. And let's see uh, what she thinks about our starter, who we've had the longest. It's very friendly toward you. I can tell you treat it kindly. Okay, so that's kind of an implication that our Golbat might be close to evolving. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, let's talk to the man, see what he has to say. Hello, hello, I say, do you do? I am the Pokemon Van Club Chairman, indeed, yes I am. When you wish to treat your Pokemon to a treat, what I say do you do? If I may say so, and I will, I feed Poffins to my Pokemon. And why I say would I do that? Because the giving of Poffins is a way of expressing your love. For example, if I were to give a sweet Poffin, the Pokemon eating it would become more cute. For example, a spicy Poffin will add to the coolness of a Pokemon. In such ways, I say the Poffins have nothing but goodness for Pokemon. Therefore, I declare this Poffin case to be a gift from me to you. Alright, so Poffins are like the food of the Pokemon universe to Pokemon. Um, and you get Poffins one of two ways in this game. Diamond and Pearl, you can only get it one way, making them. And we'll do that a little bit, we'll kind of explore that. But uh, there's a second way to do that, which we're not going to explore until Veilstone. But for now, we're going to take a stroll through Amity Park. Now, with Amity Park, uh, there's a lady at the front desk that's going to restrict access unless you have a cute Pokemon. There's a list. Okay, so she asks if we want to go on a stroll with Turtwin. If we say no... That means we don't have any other qualified Pokemon in our party. But you can get some pretty useful items, and there's a guy that'll give you a bunch of berries. Occasionally, if you stroll for long enough, uh, if you talk to your Pokemon, um, it might have a held item. So, Oh, I just can't believe it. I'm so overjoyed with my Pikachu. Wherever I go, my Pikachu follows me without hesitation. Aha, it's just the two of us. Woohoo! Alright. So, unlike Diamond and Pearl, these... Houses look a little bit more archaic, and they actually teleport you, so. I found that to be such a cool dynamic. TM45 is attract. If you are of the opposite gender as the other Pokemon, you can attract it to you, and that means that there is a possibility that it will be immobilized by love, and it won't be able to attack. 
Okay, so there's an item right here. TM43 Secret Power, I believe it does different things depending on the location. All right. Um, and you can see there are Pokeballs over here, but we can't really access this region. Uh, let's see. I don't suppose... Nope. Okay, so I will... Ooh, never mind. Pokemon Egg is hatching into a... Togepi, a very rare Pokemon indeed. We're not going to use this on our team. We're going to go and deposit that as well, but... It's just kind of stereotypical, right? I mean, we were handed the Togepi. Why not use it on our team? It does evolve into... Excuse me, an incredible Pokemon. Um but we're not going to use that. Okay, so I'm going to go heal up, and then I'm going to meet you at the other end of Amity Park. All right, so here we are at the other end. When I said heal up, I actually meant deposit the Togepi. I don't know what I was saying. All right, what do you have to say, fighting dude? <laughs> My poor Gyarados and Steelix, they refused admittance to those. I wouldn't call those cute Pokemon, though. But by the way, I don't think Grodel is technically on the list. Turtwig is, but if you evolve it, they'll still allow your Pokemon entry. Okay, so we're just basically going to collect the items and get out. Uh, Alright, so... This is just, like, farther north. You could have walked here on your own. An amulet coin! If the Pokemon holding the amulet coin participates in the battle, you will win double the prize money. Take advantage of the rich trainers and make bank. Alright, now instead of going forward, I'm going to go east instead. We're going to cycle through a bunch of these. I come here with my Happini every single day. I can let it run free without any worries at all. I think this was the precursor to Heart Gold and Soul Silver, where your Pokemon could walk with you, and they had that Pokeball gimmick, where you could like actually physically walk and do that. Hello, how do you do? I love this park. That's why I try to keep it neat and tidy. I don't mind the cleaning at all. I find all sorts of items doing so. It's quite fun, even exciting. Oh, I know. Do you know the item Big Leaf? I found some. Would you like them? Alright, this is an accessory. Sometimes he has berries, sometimes accessories. Okay, now, I'm kind of a little suspicious, and since we got the um, item finder, let's just take a look if we can get an item. Nope, guess not. That's a little peculiar, but that's okay. Okay, now this has got to have an item. No? Maybe we already picked up all the items and I just forgot. Nope. Okay, here we go. A spooky plate. One of those other 17 plates. There is text engraved. The power of defeated giants infuses this plate. That doesn't really make sense. It's a spooky plate. Should boost the uh, power of, I think, ghost type moves. Either ghost types or dark types. All right, and we're just going to go north again instead of east to, I guess, restart. And that's it for Amulet Park, or Amity Park. All right, sorry about that. Um, apparently there wasn't enough disk space to continue recording, but I deleted some stuff, and now we're back. Uh, what else do I want to do to explore Heart Home City a little bit more? There are some buildings which aren't really super significant. However, we're going to explore, I think, two more places. The first one is going to be, I love this music for some reason, the Poffin Center. So this is the first way to actually get Poffins in the game. Uh, all right, let's see if I can even do this. To be honest, I don't think I can on an emulator, but we're going to see if I can prove myself wrong. So all these say they're Poffin ingredients, so let's check the tag which will kind of tell us what kind of Poffin we're going to be getting. So that looks like it's kind of average all across the board. Um, here's a Raspberry. Again, not too good. The rarer the berry, the better it's probably going to be for, for um, yeah, Poffin. So Nanabs looks like bitter and sweet. And Pineapp, sour and spicy. All right, let's go with a Nanab berry. Okay, so I have to actually kind of stir it in. This is not going to go well, but... Alright, let's 
So now I have to do this. I have an idea of how to make this a little bit better. Yeah, I know it's gonna burn. Yeah. Oh no! I'm doing my best. All right, slow and steady wins the race. Just circle it up. All right, we're gonna make it blue. Yep. That's, that's pretty bad. Is there anything I can do? Okay, I have a tablet that will allow me to make this go a little bit easier. Let me try this. Ah, shoot. It burned 11 times. That is a foul poffin. Okay, I want to try this one more time and just see if this uh, tablet actually helps me out. Yeah, I guess we'll use the... No, no, wait, wait, ah. I'm horrible at this. Okay. Let's try this and see if it works. Ready to watch me fail at cooking? There we go, that's pretty good. You wanna, you don't wanna overflow it but you don't want to underflow it either. You want to keep it at the right pace, and of course change directions whenever it asks for it. See, too fast. Follow the directions perfectly. Hey, we're getting the hang of things. I could be a chef yet. Knock on wood, but we haven't uh, burned it once kind of looking delectable. Notice the flames are now blue. <sighs> Gotta get me changing directions so much. There we go. All right, let's see how we did. We made a level nine spicy poffin and it is more delectable than the other one, okay. So that is the first way we can kind of make poffins. And of course, let me just kind of show you how they operate in our poffin case, which is a key item. So you just open it up. You obviously do not want to feed this to any Pokemon, but here's the spicy poffin that we can give to any of these Pokemon. Now, since it is a spicy um, poffin, you have to look over here to its food preferences. At the bottom, it says good perseverance likes sour food. Happily eats anything, likes dry food, happily eats anything. Okay, so if I wanted to give it to Sharpie, for example, which I'm not going to yet, but I think Grodel was another non-picky eater. And what's going to happen is, watch what happens to its stats. Since it's spicy, remember the Pokemon fan club chair said that that raises coolness. It doesn't look like it raised it by a lot. Obviously, if you level up your Poffins a lot more and get more rare berries, it'll increase it even more. Now, you cannot feed it infinite Poffins to max it out. There is something called Sheen, which I'm guessing is Belly. And if you look right now, the Sheen is empty, but the more Poffins you feed the Pokemon, the more this is going to um, increase. So just keep that in mind. So... The reason that you want to feed your Pokemon Poffins is to increase its stats, the, the coolness, etc., etc., its beauty, so that you can enter it in Pokemon contests. And while we're not going to be doing any Pokemon contests in this episode, um, in the future that is definitely a possibility. It's probably going to take up its own episode uh, towards the end of the playthrough. Now this is the last building that we're going to explore today, and it's not really vital for the story's progress. However, I think it's so cool that Pokemon decided to take a step back from everything going on and put something that I think is extremely relevant into the game. This has no music. It is completely silent. It is kind of a place where people get together and, and worship. I'm not going to say church. I'm not going to say that word, but let's talk to these people and what they have to say. I'm going to treat it pretty seriously.
We cannot read the minds of others, which causes us to feel fear and doubt. But to control the aspects of the world beyond our senses is an impossibility. When people and Pokemon join hands, everyone's happy. It makes everyone come together. It could even make the world one. There are still words that not everyone can describe. The words are love and joy. That people are lonely is only natural. It gives me compassion for others. It's what makes me look forward to a better tomorrow. But there are still moments of fondness for the past, though time can heal some sadness. And there do I see my father, my son, my life. And there do I see nature, Pokemon, the world. Mind and matter. It's no good if one is stronger than the other. Balance is what's needed. That's the key. The art of crafting things fatigues one's spirit. When the spirit is healed, the desire to make something returns. It is such a wondrous cycle. If the strong and able do too much, they limit the contributions of others. The strong must show restraint. This enables everyone to live together and share responsibility. Pokemon, people, it's only natural that we are all so very different. Make sure that you never judge a Pokemon on if it's weak or strong. You must always look for the good inside of them. That's what counts. Well said. Couldn't have said it better myself. Now, obviously, a lot of metaphors going on. I'm not really going to delve right into those. But if you have a comment or have something that you want to say, please let me know. And we're going to end this episode off with kind of a bang. Uh, we haven't battled at all in this episode, so might as well. Okay, he talks about the daycare, which is a mechanic we'll get into later out. Um, ready? Set. Tyson. Ta-da! Kept me waiting again, Alex. Let's see how much tougher you and I have gotten right here, right now. Hey, you're a trainer now. You're expected to be ready for a battle. No whining, no waiting. Let's get the show started. Are you sure you want that? I have three gym badges, just like you. All right, he starts off with a bird. Let's put um, let's put her up against my bird. Okay, I wouldn't call mine a bird. Does Confuse Ray strike? Yeah, it does. So if it's a ghost, physical, or special type move, it's not going to affect a normal type like Staravia, even a normal flying. But Confuse Ray will surely work. Alright, wing attack does stab. And it snaps out of confusion in one turn and reciprocates with wing attack. Well done. Oh, my favorite move. I'm getting sick of Endeavor. I don't know about you all. I am going to heal up. I am going to be that guy. I don't care. Because Staravia could have quick attack. So, if I would have tried to attack it, I would have lost. Alright. Now, it could use Endeavor again, but it's not going to get it off before I do. Six hundred and four. And it wants to move, learn the move Air Cutter. Okay, so let's just compare these two for a second. This does 60 damage. It's a physical attack. Air Cutter does 55, and it's special. But it has a high critical hit ratio, and its accuracy is 95%. Here's what I'm going to say. No. Golbat is a physical striker. I believe it can be special. Like, you can train it to be a special attacker, but mine isn't. So we're going to go ahead and give up on Air Cutter. But it's a pretty decent move for certain kinds of flying types, so keep an open mind. Weasel is a water type that we've encountered. Essentially, all the other three of his Pokemon are going to be elementals. Meaning they're going to be water, fire, and grass. Yeah. I think Pursuit is a move where if you try to switch out, it always does that little bit of damage before you switch out. So you're not completely safe. Alright, Monferno, uh, well, 
We have a weakness to fire types. That's the problem. But you know what? I'm going to try with Sharpie. Alright, this is the evolved form of Chimchar. And since it is technically also a fighting type, that means Aerial Ace will do twice the damage. And Flame Wheel will also do twice the damage. And it does stab. Ha! And we survived. What's wrong, Tyson? No super potions? Alright, now it's going to have a Grass type. That's Roselia. Um, but you know what? Flying is super effective against Grass, so let's go for it. Obviously, you want to switch out depending on the type or if you turn that setting off. I've thought about doing that. So if you swap out before... Um, how do I put this? Whenever your opponent is going to throw the next Pokemon out, you can choose to swap out beforehand. But you can change the settings and make it a little bit more difficult so that you have to wait until they send it out and then you have to waste a turn swapping out. I think that's called the set feature. Okay, I don't know what he said, but it was probably not very important. Um, I'm going to heal up and meet you back here. Just give me one minute. All right, and we're back. I think I'm going to make this a short episode and kind of cut it off. We sight, split, we sight saw all of Heart Home City, and we also battled our rival. Took some serious moments, some playful moments, some fun moments. I think that's a good mixture for any episode, but I will see you in the next one. Have a great day.